Hey guys, I'm going to do a diecast review on this Michael Winner 2015 Pilot Flame J diecast. So, first off, as you can see, this is only the body, and it's a custom diecast. I used custom decals on it. So, when you, when I made this, is when I put the decals on. So, say I have a card that I don't really want anymore, so say I have... Tony Stewart's Fast Pro Shocks. Um, Chevrolet. I don't want it, and I have custom decals to make another car that I want more that diecast producers didn't make. So, there are these rivets. You have to take yep, you have to take the entire car apart. Then you have to strip your body of all the paint so that you can put the decal over. That's basically what I did here. I just haven't put the car back together yet. So, Dylan Negron mentioned something about this car. So I thought, maybe I could do it. And, yeah. So, I I like this paint scheme. It's okay. Um, I like the sides. I like, well, first off, I like the H. Scott Motorsports font. I really like that number font. So, the, the paint scheme is overall pretty simple. One thing that bothers me, though, it says Flying J on the driver's left side and Pilot on the right side. That just bothers me. So, on the sides, it, it like, you have the red, and then you have the orange, and then you have the white covers most of the side. But, I like it. It reminds me a lot of Sunrise and Sunset. Um, same with the other side. The B panel is black. I, I don't know, and, yeah, when I ordered these decals, when I ordered these decals, they don't always cover the entire car, so, which kind of bothers me, um, you can see there's a little bit, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of red right here, and then there's a different shade of red for the actual decals, that also happened with this JJ Early one can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's different shades, the paint, they don't have the same color decals and paint, but, yeah, um, I have the rest of the car somewhere in this room, I don't know where it is, I'll find it later, the, f the front, or the hood also has, like, reminds me a little bit of Sunrise and Sunset when you put it like that. And it has the red. But I don't know how they came up with this scheme. It's I don't know. I don't I don't really like the hood. It just looks weird. And the back also looks kinda weird. Mm. I have lots of small sponsors that you can't really read right here. Um, yeah hood, and, well, I mean, the roof, it's all red, except for the number. Yeah, that's about it I have for this diecast review. So again, I have many more cars that I could review for you. Just tell me, I have... Alright, those ones I already reviewed. I have these ones, which I'm about to start the race for. I have several more in my case thing, but tell me if any of them catch your eye and you want me to review them.